Okay, so we've rounded up all the best components this year for three different categories. Enthusiast, budget, and value. But there's a twist. This is not our recommendation. It's yours. This is a collection of the highest number of each component sold for these respective categories. And while we dug deep into our 3000 plus builds database for this info this year, we also have some very interesting numbers to share. So let the show begin. Starting off with processor, the best of the best was of course 12900K, a no-brainer choice for you guys out there. Now keep in mind 13 Gen and 7000 have launched very very recently. Coming to value, 1200F takes the crown and for good reason, a 12 core CPU under 25K was practically unheard of. High clock speeds check, high cores check. Value for money, we think you guys gave a pretty big check on that. But now, let's talk about the most sold unit. Now we might have been a little guilty of recommending this CPU everywhere, not without reason. But the 1200F single-handedly outsold both the previous CPUs combined. Yep. If there are people still telling you that 6 cores aren't enough, please show them this video. Fun fact, combining the total distance that our PCs travelled this year, the number is equal to going around Earth 20 times. We ship nationally. Now moving on to the part we love to hate, graphic cards. Starting with enthusiast level, the 1390Ti actually broke all the charts which makes sense because the 90 series always gives the best value for productive workloads. Coming to the value option, 3060 Ti was the only choice for you guys because this was the most sold SQ in our entire GPU lineup. In fact, taking 1200F and 3060 Ti, you get the most sold GPU and CPU combination out of the 3000 system shipped this year. Now budget segment, we have 1650. It's been winning since the past two years. I mean, it's very clear I need a better 50 series card and 3050 isn't the one yet. Do you guys think 4050 will be able to defeat this legend? Let us know in the comments below. Fun fact number two, we installed a total of 98 terabyte of RAM this year, which altogether could open more than 200,000 Chrome tabs, probably some more. Now moving on to CPU coolers. Now this is interesting because this is the only category where the enthusiast level component was sold the maximum. Yes, the 360EX Deep Cool Castle outsold every other model because it's a 360mm RGB AIO under 10k. For the value option, we have another one from Deep Cool and it's better than the Castle 360. I'm talking about the AK620 with dual heat sinks at just around 5k. This bad boy could possibly handle a Finan 50X without the RGB though. Now coming to budget. Now we have another oldie lined up. You guessed it right. It's the Hyper 212 from Cooler Master. The turbo varied this time with only two RGB fans. It's clear that most people take coolers so the PC has more RGB because the AK620 being the best value actually sold the least. Now moving on to the cabinet. Now, I don't know what obsession people have, but the PC011 Evo has literally taken over the case industry. In the enthusiast segment, there is no case that even comes close except for the PC011 Dynamic which is kind of the same. I mean, I get it, nine fans, good airflow, dual compartment, clean cable management, but I think it's high time we find something else. And actually a lot of other brands are building the same case too now. Coming to the value option. It's again from Lian Lee. It's the LAN Cool 2 Mesh. It's actually a very good option because apart from amazing features, they put a lot of effort in making the assembly process easier. Good cable routing, detachable rads, magnetic panels. It's actually a pretty good case. Budget option may winner har saal ki tarah. Pichle paanch saano se, is actually the K501L from Cooler Master. It's probably the go-to option in this segment when you need a 360mm RAD support under 3000 rupees. That's actually quite a steal. And with that, we complete the PC Awards 2022. Let us know which component you think had to be on this list. And in case you're looking for a build, get in touch. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next year.